Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how you can update your UVs in ZBrush from basically any software. Yeah. This is something that if you are working in a production and even if it's not like super currency film or games or whatever, if you have any kind of topology and you need to do UVs, you're probably gonna have to do UV updates at some point. And honestly, this is the easiest thing in the world. It's pretty easy. <laughs> so we have our, we've exported our model into Maya. Straight up, just go tool, export, and then in Maya, we've imported it. And this is what the UVs here are gonna look like. This is also handy if you retopologized your model and you want to do UVs as a separate pass later on. Maybe you've done some, some shape changes to your model or mm. whatnot. So here are our models, our UVs, and we can just move these guys around here. Let's say I want this guy to be up there, this guy to be over here. The UVs here are gonna be terrible. Don't worry about it, we know purely for just showing how you can update it. All your all your UV fanatics gonna go crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> all this unoptimized UV space. So basically we've done a quick UV change here now. And now we export out our guy, a little fishy. Looks pretty optimal to me. Pretty optimal, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then under here we export out as OBJ. And if OBJ isn't loaded, you need to load OBJ which is really annoying that it's not loaded by default. But it is now. No, it is now. I so think it's because we're using 2016. Mm, yeah. Darn in, it. Darn it. In 2018, you can use, you can just search for it. Yeah, So, but make, it should also be enabled by default now. Yeah. So then if it's not loaded, then, or if it is loaded, go to export selection, and now we can find OBJ all the way at the bottom. So here, and we call this fish updated. UVs super good because uh, they are super good and optimized and optimized and now we just set all these guys to off we don't need anything no. we need pure data so export selection and now in ZBrush we simply go to import and we go to fish update super good and nothing apart from the color is really changed mm. but if we were, now we were, were to go to the lowest level and UV map and morph UVs this is a funky one <laughs> because you know you can't really really see your model, but if you were to compare this to before and after, yeah. your UVs now have been updated. Like the only concern here is if the point order has changed, mm. which might happen if you're exporting out from ZBrush and doing some things to it. Even though your mesh might look the same, it might not actually transfer over properly. Yeah. So keep that in mind. If you do have issues with your point order or you don't know what point order is and you're, you're doing this and everything just explodes or it tells you, hey, your model has changed. <laughs> Maybe you mirrored your model from left to right, then yeah, you did your UVs. Yeah. We do have a video on that as well. Oh, we do? Uh, yeah, we do. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. It's funny because we keep forgetting what videos we've done because we have like 130 now. I was I was almost sure we had a video. Yeah, we, we definitely have a video on it. So uh, if you, we highly recommend you watch that anyway. Yeah. Now that Morton knows that we have a video on it. <laughs> Wait, didn't I do that video? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> so... Um, that would be the only reason this here wouldn't work. Yeah. Your point order change, your, your topology is altered. Yeah. So now you are ready for your adventures with your new UV map here. Your new and exciting UVs <laughs> that are super good. Super good. Yeah. And same thing for all the other ones, just straight up go import. This is really one of the things you are going to be using. You're going to be, you're going to be doing this all the time in a production. Yeah. Can't stress how important it is. Because if there's one thing a production can't get right, is to make up their mind about their UVs. Make up their mind about anything. That's also true. But also yeah. UVs as well. And and it also means that if, you, if you're if you in a bit of trouble, if you, and you want need to update the UVs, super simple, yeah. you now know how to do it. This is this here is also really useful combined with a video we have on uh, reprojecting details in ZBrush because mm -hmm. this is something you're going to be doing a lot. Yeah. You're going to be reprojecting your details and redoing your UVs a lot. Yeah. And so don't be afraid of it. Embrace that's going to happen and learn techniques. So cool. Really hope this here has been useful for you. Mm. Again, tool, import, done. And that's it. So if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Cool. Thanks, guys.